Hello, Somerville and Cambridge voters. My name is Mike Conley, and I'm currently serving in my third term as state representative for the 26th Middlesex District, which includes all of East Somerville, Assembly Row, Brick Bottom, the Inner Belt area, and parts of Union Square, as well as several parts of Cambridge, including East Cambridge, Central Square, Cambridgeport, Wellington Harrington, the Port neighborhood, and Inman Square. I'm recording this video just 24 hours after we wrapped up full formal sessions for the 192nd General Court on Beacon Hill. We accomplished a lot of important work this session, and yet there's still some very important work that remains to be done. But before I get into all of the highlights of this past session, I want to take a moment to introduce myself to viewers who may not be familiar with me or the work that I've been doing in partnership with our community. My commitment to public service comes from my personal background. I was raised in public housing in Norwood, Massachusetts, and as a young kid, I faced more than my share of adversity when my single mom was hospitalized and I was placed in the foster care system. I benefited from the Head Start program and programs like free lunch at school, and with the support of a loving family and caring community members, I was able to overcome my adversity, win a full football scholarship to Duke University, and then go on to attend Boston College Law School and become a licensed attorney working in the technology sector. I learned from a very young age that it was Democrats who made the opportunities and programs that sustained and encouraged me available to people in need such as me and my family. But as I grew up and got older, I started to recognize all the ways in which my story was really an exception, and I started to understand that Democrats have been needing to do a lot more to address the concerns of working families and everyone struggling to stay afloat in these times of economic and racial injustice and worsening wealth and income inequality. This is the perspective that led me to pursue a career in public service. And it's the perspective that I carry with me into the Massachusetts House of Representatives each and every day. The city of Somerville is blessed to have an incredible set of elected officials. On the state level, I am truly honored to be able to serve alongside Senator Pat Jalen and my House colleagues, Representative Christine Barber and Representative Erica Idahoven. Together, we worked with our colleagues on Beacon Hill to deliver some incredible accomplishments during the 2021-2022 formal legislative session. After many years of local organizing and advocacy, led in part by organizations such as the Welcome Project and the Brazilian Worker Center, I'm very proud to report that we passed the Work and Family Mobility Act to make driver's licenses available to residents of the Commonwealth, regardless of their immigration status. Special gratitude to Rep. Barber for her work as the lead sponsor of this landmark accomplishment for civil rights and immigrant justice. Back in the spring, when the United States Supreme Court's Dobb decision was leaked, we immediately got to work on Beacon Hill drafting and then passing an abortion rights and gender-inclusive care bill that was signed into law just last week. This has been called a nation-leading response to the Dobbs decision and the unfortunate wave of anti-LGBTQ plus activity that has been happening in several other state legislatures in other parts of the country. As our session wrapped up over the past week, we also passed major bills to improve the quality of life and the provision of services across the Commonwealth, including the Mental Health ABC Act to reduce barriers to resources, support, and treatment, a comprehensive cannabis equity bill that will limit the local fees charged to marijuana companies, help fund local cannabis startups, and provide equity applicants with new opportunities to open cannabis cafes and social consumption venues, an extraordinary climate bill that will make Massachusetts the national leader in offshore wind energy and will create opportunities for forward-thinking cities like Somerville and Cambridge to pilot a fossil fuel-free program for new buildings and major renovations, a strong legislative response to the MBTA safety crisis, including $400 million to immediately address the safety problems identified by the Federal Transit Administration, as well as strong oversight and transparency provisions that will put a stop to the Baker administration's practice of covering up safety issues. 
Also this session, we passed the Votes Act. This will make permanent successful programs like vote by mail and early voting. If you're registered to vote, you should have by now received a postcard in the mail that will allow you to request a vote by mail ballot, thus making voting easier than ever here in Somerville and across the Commonwealth. This is just a small sample of some of the work we've been doing on behalf of Somerville and Cambridge residents in the state legislature over the past 19 months. Now, with August here, election season officially kicks into full swing. And in the coming weeks and months, I'm looking forward to sharing a lot more details about the work we've completed and the important work that remains. For me, the most important issue is always affordable housing. And I'm hoping that in the next legislative session, we can finally win the right for cities and towns to consider local rent stabilization and real estate transfer fees to fund affordable housing while also establishing a right to counsel for tenants facing eviction or foreclosure and a program of eviction record sealing so that a past hardship won't prevent a renter from securing stable housing in the future. Ultimately, I believe we need to establish a program of guaranteed housing for all people here in our Commonwealth. And I'm very proud to be leading these housing justice efforts on Beacon Hill. As we approach the state primary election on Tuesday, September 6th, I want to encourage all voters to make a plan to vote. And if you live in the 26th Middlesex District, then I am respectfully asking for your support of my re-election campaign. Once again, you'll have the option of voting early in person, voting by mail, or voting in person on election day. Then following the primary, the general election will take place on Tuesday, November 8th. This will be a critical opportunity for Democrats to take back the governor's office and for all of us to pass the fair share amendment to tax the rich and make transformative investments in public transportation and education. In closing, I would like to thank the Somerville Media Center for allowing me the opportunity to record this video and I hope to see you in the weeks and months ahead on the campaign trail. As always, Please don't hesitate to contact me directly with any questions or concerns. And thank you once again for allowing me the honor to serve our community in the House of Representatives.